Must get coffee before road trip every single time. Thank you. Thank you. I'll buy you coffee in Nashville. John, now you're in the shadow. God, he just needed a chance to say hi. Oh, this is me? Keith. This is the guy who knows all the stuff about cameras and stuff. So we're about to head to Nashville. We shouldn't get in a car accident right before we leave. Head to Nashville with Keith to go see a concert. 12 to 15 year old me is losing his mind. Uh, we're gonna go see the band Me Without You. If you remember Me Without You, drop your favorite song down in the comments. We're also gonna be shooting photos and vlogging, but not with the Canon R5. I'm gonna be vlogging with my X100V and taking photos of the whole trip. So we'll see how it pans out. X100V vlog. <laughs> I have no idea if I can actually see myself and how close it is to my face. This might be a horrible shot, but in Nashville, and now we're gonna go pick up Keith's friend, Chris, who is the biggest Me Without You fan <laughs> we know. Is that right? It's gonna be fun. Good luck. It's love. I got nothing to say at the moment. Good. It's like Thai food. It's like white Thai, okay. black Thai. I don't, I don't know, it's just, just really, really good Thai food. What's up? So I have no idea how this is going. I will say this. Vlogging with this thing has been fun. It's small, it's compact, it doesn't draw a lot of attention to me. I don't have a microphone on it, so I'm using the mic that's on the camera because the little like micro road mic that I have, it requires a specific type of jack to fit into this camera. I don't know the exact size, but I don't have the right tool. Other than that, the only other challenge is obviously being able to see myself. I'm used to being able to look at my Canon. And then last but not least, I will say I am not shooting in log for this. I'm shooting on a uh, Fuji preset that I'll make sure I post somewhere on the video when I remember what it is. And I'm curious to see how that turns out. All in all, it's been pretty good. Nashville's great. Someone's doing yard work, of course. So I'm sure you can hear that. Here's the view that I can see currently. Nice. Real, real nice. The other challenge is uh, no image stabilization. So there's that. All right, these are the boys here for the concert. Chris, my new friend. Keith, my old friend. The white balance, it's everything's so orange right now. Here's the real trick. These guys are actually the real photographers out here. Legends. They've been shooting for a lot longer than I have. And Keith is very talented. A couple of Fuji boys out here chopping it up. Dude, this looks so good. Photo sharing time. Good morning. Good morning. It is uh, about almost 8.30. Last night, went to a concert. It was great. The trap I set for you seems to have caught my leg. <laughs> the boys are upstairs waiting on me. I think they're going to be ready to go. I'm going to put on a hat for this mess. Vlogging with the X100V. Still going okay. Wait, where are we? Nashville. Proper bagel. Breakfast. Coffee. Sustenance. Waking up. Was that right? Yeah. I once again don't know if I'm in focus or what's going on. Had to come back because it's very cold. The restaurant we're gonna hang out at is only doing takeaway. So we're gonna have to sit outside. Also, I seeing a concert that like 16 year old me would have wanted to see years ago felt really great. The band was awesome, but it was fun reliving a little bit of my, my youth. <laughs> I feel like an old man saying that. Finally eating something. Chris is over here still waiting on his delicious meal. Keith is wasting no time. 
diving in. Real cool, Keith. Real cool. Very but this cool. is what I'm most interested in right here. One of your greatest human traits is being able to provide clear direction. He's being sarcastic. It's a great trait. It's being sarcastic it hurts. No, I think, I really do, I just think that you've done such a great job. I mean, we've only missed a couple of turns. The joke continues. It's not been that bad. Head south on 17th Avenue South, Belmont Boulevard. I specifically Boulevard, told you to go north. The Belmont Boulevard. Don't show this video to the police where you're on your phone while driving. To 18th oh. Avenue South. is just us going throughout Nashville and eating different types of food. And that's okay with me. What if all the five daughters married the five guys? with the X100V. I hope this made some sense. There was not really a good through line to this vlog. Like any good vlog. Like any good vlog. It's like a photo dump for a video. 100%. Yeah. That's all it is. Just vibes. Peace. Well, well, well. I am breaking my rules here, using natural light, doing the handheld mic, because I had to hop on here and give my quick final thoughts on vlogging with the X100V. You see, I've been praising this camera for months. In my eyes, it's like, what could he even do wrong? I think I might have found my first big gripe. Now, I'm not gonna talk about the autofocus that left me wanting more, or am I gonna talk about the fact that I didn't have the right jack for my mic, leaving me to use the on-camera mic system. I'm not gonna talk about the white balance issues. I'm not gonna talk about the exposure issues. I'm not gonna talk about how hard it is to change your settings on the fly. Though these are all real complaints and these are all real things that I found incredibly challenging, here's what I do wanna talk about. While watching back on this vlog and editing it, I was smiling because I was seeing the moments that we did capture. And it just made me glad that I had captured these moments on camera. What I wasn't smiling about was the quality of the image or the shots themselves. I wasn't necessarily impressed with anything that I saw visually. And that is where for me, there's a big difference. You see, when I use my Canon to vlog or go out and shoot on the field, I have a sense of excitement, not only because of the memory that I'm capturing, but because I think the visuals are just killer. And I think that that's a combination of things. I think that's a combination of me knowing that camera really well, having multiple focal length options to tell the story better, but also I think it's on the technical side of things, the ease and ability to change my settings on the fly, knowing that if I shoot the thing in C-Log, I'm gonna have my presets saved in Final Cut where I can color correct and color grade and make the process a whole lot easier. I really wanted to come away from this trip blown away by the X100V and what it could do with a run and gun vlog style video. But if you were to ask me to rate it on a scale from one to 10, I would give my first vlogging experience with the X100V a six out of 10. It left a lot, a lot to be desired. I can already see the comments, like it's not meant to be a video camera, only use her photos. That's fine, that's totally fine, I get it. I plan to do that. I plan to mainly use this as a photo camera, but it is important to know the capabilities of your tools. And knowing the way that I use the X100V as a daily driver, throw it in the bag, keep it on the wrist, shoot, 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 I'd like to be able to utilize it as something to capture quick content like a vlog or a video for a reel on Instagram or something on TikTok. I think this is all possible. I just need more time with the camera, which I'm gonna do. We're gonna have a video where I actually break down and put it through its test in the studio because we already know photo-wise that this thing can compete with the best of the best cameras out there. I did an R5 X100V video just last week and I was very impressed with the results. So I'm not throwing the baby out with the bathwater. I'm not turning my back on the X100V. 
I'm just here to say that my first experience vlogging with it was just not as great as I hoped it would be. You know, I say it, I say it at the end of every video, but thank you for helping me feel less lonely. It's been a really fun year. We only got a couple weeks left and uh, we're gonna keep cranking out the videos because I'm having a ton of fun with you guys. And if you wanna feel less lonely on your creative journey, then I'd recommend uh, leaving a like, dropping a comment, and then ultimately subscribing and being a part of what we got going on here on the Less Lonely channel, which is being creative together and feeling less lonely. All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Handheld mic. Who am I? What is this? This goes against all my rules. You're not supposed to be able to see the mic. Put it up there so no one can see it. Natural light, no key light. I was very impassioned to share my thoughts on this camera. <laughs>